For today's Cyber CEO episode. So she handles all my social media, handles my contact relationship management. She does my brochures, checks my voicemail, handles my website. You know, whenever I need something in particular, I'll just shoot her an email and, and we communicate that way. She's so pleasant and eager to do her job well. And she comes up with ideas for, um, for me that I haven't thought about. So I like that she's a self-starter. And just personally, she's just absolutely delightful. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show. Hetty, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you very much for asking and for dropping by. I know you have a lot of things to do. We really, really appreciate you being on the show today. Now, to let you know, we have a lot of listeners who are business owners just like yourself. So I need your help here. Um, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Maybe we can start with what's your role in the business, Hetty? So I am a commercial real estate broker and an attorney. And um, I came to Cyberbacker mostly for help with my real estate business. Okay, so mostly on the real estate business. Now, yep. um, how long have you been in the real estate world, by the way? Oh, about 10, 12 years. 10, 12 years. A lot of experience right there. Now, how about working with someone virtual? Is this your first time? This is my first time, yep. First go. Was it a big change for you? Because I know we were kind of used to working with people that we can meet all the time. Now, everything's going a bit more virtual. So was it a big change for you and your business? It was a big change. I definitely had to make some adjustments, mm -hmm. um, but in a good way. All right. What were these adjustments that you had to go through, though, working with someone virtual? Well, I had to get myself more organized, um, definitely to make uh, the best use of Camille's time um, and and to get the most out of our relationship, I definitely had to get more organized, yeah, which so, was a good thing. Yes, of course, for you and your business too, right? Right. Yes. Now, how did you find out about Cyberbacker in the first place? Through Keller Williams. Mm -hmm. I had heard other people at Keller Williams talk about it. Okay, gotcha. So really, Keller Williams then. Now, yep. um, talk to me more about Camille. Just going through the hiring process, how did you know that you found the perfect cyber backer in Camille? Uh, she, I really liked the way she answered questions. I felt that we had a good rapport, which was very important to me. And I felt that she was eager, a good self-starter, mm -hmm. and it felt right. Mm -hmm. uh, but I had also had a lot of prep from you guys mm -hmm. on um, good questions to ask. Uh, to really vet out what I was looking for. And that was a big help. It, it was, it took a lot of time to get organized in that respect as well. But uh, I think it was well worth the effort. Yes. And how long have you been working with Camille now? I think it's just been over six months. Six months. So fairly new partnership then. Now, yes. What are the tasks that you let Camille do for you in the business? So she handles all my social media mm -hmm. work. She does, um, handles my contact relationship management. Uh, she does my brochures, handles, um, checks my voicemail, um, handles my website, mm -hmm. and um, does some documentation for me and keeps track. And really, um, we actually meet every, have a Zoom meeting every Monday morning, mm -hmm. kind of go over um, just what the week has in, in store, and just, it's just a way to keep in touch. Mm -hmm. And then as the week goes along, you know, whenever I need something in particular, I'll just shoot her an email and, and we communicate that way. There we go. So at least you have once, uh, I mean, every Monday you get to meet each other then just to run yes. down everything that has to be done. Okay. Now, um, of course, it's a new partnership six months in. 
her growth is not going to stop. She's going to continue learning with you and your business. So what are some of the future plans that you have for her? When I say future plans, probably some new tasks that you have in mind that you want her to do for you in the next, let's say, three to six months from today. Definitely more on the social media side. Yeah, that's um, that's something that I have been sorely lacking in my practice before. And I know it's so important and I'm not very good at it and I don't have the time to do it. And she's much better at it than I am. Um, in fact, I've had people come up to me mm-hmm. just, you know, unsolicited and say, well, you're really crushing it with your social media. <laughs> and so that's great. And I can't really take uh, credit for that. That's that's all Camille. She's been helping you with that. So more yeah. really on social media, pu- pushing more for social media then. For social media. And and she's really um, exhibits a lot of, she, she's always eager to learn and willing to learn and help. So, you know, just more on documentation and, and keeping um, my contacts straight and maintaining relationships. And, and the other thing that um, we're putting together is um, like a drip campaign, Mm -hmm. just a a plan of, you know, constantly um, keeping in touch with people. Um, Yeah, so that's that's one thing. And the other thing that we're working on is a newsletter. Okay, so really a lot of the marketing stuff, again, also contacts, that's one exciting stuff for Camille, of course, for the future. Now, um, again, it's a fairly new partnership. How did you create a successful partnership with someone who's virtual? Because I know for sure that some of our listeners might have a difficult time transitioning into the virtual world. So do you have any tips that you can share with them? And again, how to work with someone who's virtual? So the best tip that I got, which has worked out to be great, is whenever I'm doing something mm-hmm. that I like done in a specific way, mm-hmm. I'll do a, I'll just record myself on a Zoom you know, a video recording how I'm doing it and just explain what I'm doing. And I mean, we're just talking a couple of minute video and then I'll send it to her. So she knows exactly how I want something done. And, you know, she doesn't have to keep coming back to me and asking me. I mean, I never mind her asking me questions, (laughs) but um, that's been a, a big help. I mean, it was something I'd never thought about before, something I heard about on a KW yeah. meeting, um, which I thought was great. And um, so especially with, we have a fairly new technology platform. So mm-hmm. as I was learning it, I was recording what I was doing and um, sending her the videos. And so now she's really she well, um, familiar with it. Yep. So that wound up um, saving me a lot of time. And I think it made the process a little easier for her. There we go. Because you already showed her how you want it done and what you want done. I think that's a good right. suggestion right there because once you record the video, she can just go back to that. Once she has questions right. about it, then it's going to be easier for her too. Now, absolutely. you've been working with Camille for six months now. Um, for sure, she's going to be listening once we have this episode u- uploaded online. She's going to be watching. Sure. Um, we would like to know what do you like most about Camille, your cyberbacker? What's the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about her? She's so pleasant and eager to do her job well. And um, she comes up with ideas for um, for me that I haven't thought about. So I like that she's a self-starter. And just personally, she's um, just absolutely delightful. There we go. Now, we are very, very excited to see where this partnership grows to for the next couple of months, of course. And again, Hetty, thank you very much for dropping by today. I had fun talking to you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.